Now we see uh, the Davison Jammer experiment, uh, which is an experiment that confirms the existence of the Broglie waves. So, importance of this experiment is this experiment confirms the existence of matter waves or the de Broglie waves. Okay. So, uh, what we see here is an experimental arrangement to study this. Okay. So, the experimental arrangement to study this effect is shown here. So, what we see is a filament which can be heated as the current passes through it. And uh, as we heat uh, the fi filament, electrons will be emitted, an electron beam will be coming out of it. It is accelerated through a potential difference V. So, here we have a hollow metallic tube and we apply a variable voltage between this hollow metallic tube and the filament. Okay. A variable voltage is applied uh, and uh, it is accelerated the electrons are accelerated and this voltage we can vary and it falls on a crystal okay it, it strikes a, the beam strikes a crystal here and uh, uh, this is the incident beam and this is the scattered beam the beam scattered from the crystal and it can be detected using a detector so here we have a detect detector to detect the electrons or rather the intensity of the electrons and this detector can be moved. This can be moved in, a, um, ang in the angle uh, 0 to 90 degrees. So, the detector can be moved in the range 0 to uh, 90 degrees. So, this is what we uh, have uh, as electron beam that is scattered by a crystal which we detect using a detector at different angles. Okay, the intensity of the beam can be detected at a different angles changing from 0 to 90 degree. Another thing is we can vary this voltage, the voltage through which the electrons the electrons are accelerated. Okay, this voltage can be varied. So, we will be doing the uh, experiment at uh, different accelerating voltages okay, and at a different scattering angles. So, let us see the uh, experimental procedure and uh, the results that we get. In density, what we are doing here is we take a particular voltage V, a low voltage V and then vary or detect the uh, scattered beam at different angles varying the angle of the detector from 0 to 90 degree. Okay, so, the in the and uh, the intensity of the diffracted beam is plotted against the angle between the angle between the incident beam and the scattered beam that is phi. So, intensity is plotted against the phi. Okay, the method of plotting is such that the intensity at any angle that is proportional to, this is very important, the, inden, the method of plotting is such that the intensity at any angle is proportional to the distance of the curve at that angle from the point of scattering. Okay, so, as we plot uh, the distance uh, from the point of scattering to the curve at any angle gives you the intensity that, or that is proportional to the intensity. Now, the observations are repeated for different accelerating voltages. Okay, so, we do this experiment for different accelerating voltages and the figure below this shows the polar graphs of uh, the electron intensity at uh, different accelerating voltages okay, and at different scattering angles. So, the here we have the uh, incident beam this is incident beam uh, that uh, we are taking accelerating voltage as 40 volt, 40 volt and we as we plot the intensity against the scattering angle we get a graph like this. This is actually called a polar graph. Okay, this is a polar graph and this is at 44 volt and this is at 48 volt, this is at 54 volt and 60 volt, 64 volt and 68 volts. 
Okay. So, these are the polar graphs, the intensity uh, against the scattering angle. Intensity is proportional to the distance of the curve. Okay, the intensity is proportional to at any angle is proportional to the distance of the curve at that angle from the point of scattering. So, any intensity at this point is proportional to this distance. Okay. So, now uh, the graph remains fairly smooth, what we observe is the graph remains fairly smooth till the voltage becomes 44 volt. Okay, the graph is smooth. At 44 volt, a small bump appears on the curve. Okay, small bu bump is appearing on the curve. And as we increase the voltage, the length of the bump increases. As voltage increases, the length of the bump increases. And uh, at an, at an accelerating voltage of 54 volt and an angle of 50 degree, okay, the bump becomes most prominent. Okay, at an accelerating voltage of 54 volt and an angle of 50 degree, the bump becomes most prominent in the curve. Okay, and as voltage is further increased, the bump disappears. The bump completely uh, disappears as the voltage is. Uh, further increase. So, these are the four observations on the curve. Uh, we get a bump uh, on the curve and it becomes most prominent, most prominent in the curve for an accelerating voltage of 54 volt, okay, and at an angle of 50 degree, the scattering angle 50 degree. This, this shows the incident beam, this is the scattered beam, okay. And as voltage is further increased, as voltage is further increased, it disappears, the bump completely disappears, okay. So, this is what we observe in the uh, scattering experiment, okay.